Verse 12. Here's why. That we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in Christ, in whom, in Christ, you also trusted. After that, you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, after that, you believed. Now notice, first after you heard, and then after you believed, you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, which is, verse 14, the earnest, or we would say the down payment, right, of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession. Now, that's all King James. For basically what he's saying is that you were, when you heard the word, you believed, and when you believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit. And that Holy Spirit of promise now, because of that, he is the down payment. He is the down payment of our inheritance. That means we get an idea of what the total inheritance is through the Holy Spirit who is our down payment of that inheritance. And because of that, we will see the ultimate redemption of everything. In other words, let me explain it this way. The reason we have divine healing is because people can still get sick. When you get to a place, okay, that you can, let's put it this way, when mortality puts on immortality, we won't need divine healing. Why? Because we can't get sick. We will be living automatically in divine health. Do you get that? Right now, we have the down payment. So we can live. See, this is why it's by faith. Why? Because it's coming. That, that full consummation is going to happen. But right now, we live by faith in that. And whatever we can believe according to our inheritance, we can experience it right now, which is the down payment of what we will experience in fullness when Jesus returns or we go to be with him. Amen? Yeah. Now, is it, are you getting a, maybe a little different picture of what salvation really is? Because this is all a down payment. In other words, we should be, and, and the beauty of it is, we have already received an inheritance. The, the will has been read, and we have an inheritance. And we get to decide how much of that inheritance we want to receive right now. And we, as soon as we read it and say, oh, there, yep, okay, I'll take that, then we start experiencing that. But the less you decide to experience, the less you decide to believe, the less you will experience. But you can experience every bit of it right now up to and including, or up to anyway, where mortality puts on immortality. See, technically at this point, you can't put on immortality of the flesh in the sense that you make yourself glorified and that's after the consummation. Do you get that? But right now, we can live in our flesh just like that, meaning in divine health, if we, decide, if we look at that and go, well, that's what we got coming that's God's will. So it's, if it's ever God's will, it's his will now. So we can live in divine health right now. And to get to divine health, usually you have to go through divine healing. 